Hello! Today I'm going to show you a Lush Oxford Street Superstore bubble bar, a limited edition bubble bar called Flutterby. And uh, is this lovely? I mean, it's just so gorgeous. It's just dark pink, it's got swirls, it's got a butterfly, really cute for spring 2016. And um, I was lucky enough to have lovely, lovely people who offered to get um, get things for me at Lush Oxford Street. And the Lush Kitchen has been also helping us by making uh, some of the things that are only sold at Oxford Street available for one day only. And so the more people that get to try these, the better. So I'm going to do a demo and review of this one called Flutterby. There's a good friend of mine who's also a Leshy who I've known a long, long time, and one of her usernames is Flutterby. So, um, fruity geranium scent. I think I've been smelling too many things. <laughs> Lush has such gorgeous scents this spring 2016. Just all different lovely scents that are just gorgeous, fruity and bright and fun and this is no exception here. It kind of, I don't have the ingredients, but I do smell floral and fruity. That's what I smell is floral and fruity. Now the details as far as if it's geranium or you know strawberry or or what is um, is yet to be known for sure but um, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful scent I don't think there's anyone who won't like this honest to God I don't think there's anyone who won't like this like you know maybe like men who hate to take baths I'm not gonna say it's a gender neutral scent because it's not quite gender neutral it leans a little bit towards the girly side Kind of like snow fairy-ish, rose geranium, strawberry. It smells great, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna go demo this now and uh, demo this Lush Oxford Street Flutterby Bubble Bar uh, from Lush Spring 2016. So I'm going to cut this in half because this is a bigger bar. So I love Flutterby Bubble Bar. It's such a pretty color of pink too. That it's not a light pink or a dark pink. It's just this medium gorgeous pink. Tons of bubbles with half of that bar. And it felt, the water felt um, more moisturized. So I'm imagining that they must have maybe put almond oil or something in this particular bubble bar. And it doesn't have any glitter. Um, the smell is incredible. It, it really does fill up your whole bathroom when you're taking a bath with this lovely bubble bar. And like I say, it makes tons of bubbles. It's uh, nice and soft and fresh and squishy so you can just squish it and hold it and let the, let the water hit, the, uh, hit your hand while you, while you kind of squish it all at the same time. And it uh, makes tons of bubbles. And so, um, so I would give Flutterby a four, four and a half. 
Um, if it had glitter in it, I'd probably give it a four and a half or five. It's bigger, so you don't you can use the whole thing, or you can use a half, or you can use a third or whatever. It's gorgeous and pretty um, to look at, and um, it seems a bit more uh, moisturizing. It makes a gorgeous color of water, tons of creamy, fluffy bubbles. And if you have any more questions about Flutter by Bubble Bar, let me know by commenting below. And like my video if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to my channel. And that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new Lush video. And I do so pretty much every day lately. Or you can go to my blog at lushalot.com for more photos and information about Flutter by Bubble Bar. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you on the next video.